I am Professor Elvi Gaikwad, who has come before you with a new video. Before going to the video or to the topic, I will request you to see all the notes which I have put in the description box. I will tell you that my channel uploads the videos on English literature, on English phonetics and phonology, morphology, syntax and syntactics, spoken English and my own literature in Marathi, Hindi and English. Today we are going to see the new topic on spoken English. If you prepare this topic, then you will write and speak correct English. I know very well and you also take the experience of this. Today I have taken the topic future perfect tense AV and PV means today we are going to discuss the active highs and passive highs in the future perfect tense. At first I will tell you that how is this tense used? The future perfect tense is used to write and speak the action completed in the future that is in the coming days. It means that when the action is completed or will be completed in the future days, then we can write that action in the future perfect tense. For example, here I will tell you, Byron will have written his poem tomorrow. Means this Byron will have written his poem tomorrow means Byron will complete his action in coming days. Means Byron is the particular subject and he will complete his action and his action will be completed in future. That is the meaning of this uh, tense of this sentence and that's why the future perfect tense is used to show the perfect action in the future tense. Now we are going to see the AV positive. Uh, remember, Byron will have written his poem tomorrow. This is the AV positive and its structure is subject plus actualized verb plus object plus complement plus full stop. Now the passive wise positive will be his poem will have been written tomorrow by Byron. So here the structure will be object plus passive wise verb plus plus C that is EW plus by plus subject case. Here I will discuss that when there is the active wise positive then there is at first the subject then there is the I will tell you active wise verb means will have written is the verb and his poem is the object and tomorrow is the complement. And when we will discuss about the uh, PV that is passive wise positive then we can say that his poem is the object will have been written is the passive wise verb tomorrow is the EW that is the complement and by Byron is the subjective case. Now we are going to see the active wise negative so the sentence will be Byron will not have written his poem tomorrow so the structure will be here Byron is the subject will not have written is the active wise negative verb and his poem is the object and tomorrow is the complement that is the extra word or extra words I will say and then there is the full stop. Now we are going to see the passive wise negative so the passive wise negative will be his poem will not have been written tomorrow by Byron. So here in this sentence, object is his poem, negative passive wise verb is will not have been written. Then complement is tomorrow and by Byron is the subjective case and then there is the full stop. 
Now see, we are going to see the last part that is the conclusion in which I will tell you that the future perfect tense means the completed activity in the future times means when the activity is completely uh, perfect or completely completed in the future tense or in the future times then we can use the future perfect tense that is the use or utility of this particular tense. AV verb positive means when we discuss the active wise that is the AV verb or active wise verb uh, and positive then we can speak it as will have written. Now will have written it means that will have plus pp means always we can take will have plus pp shall have plus pp we can take here always uh, for example i will say shall have gone will have gone or will have written shall have written like this now we are going to see the passive verb positive so that verb is will have been uh, written means when we are discussing the passive, passive verb or passive wise and that is the positive sense then uh, we can make that verb like this means we can make it will have been written means will have been written is the uh, passive wise uh, i will say verb positive it means that will have been plus pp is the particular uh, sense means shall have been plus pp will have been plus pp it means that uh, shall have been written or will have been written in this way we can say now we are going to see the AV verb negative. So that AV verb negative means active wise verb negative means in the negative active wise the verb will be will not have written. Will not have written means will not have uh, done, will not have jumped like this. So uh, in detail we, we can say that will not have plus written or shall not have plus written. Uh, means uh, will not have or shall not have uh, plus written means plus uh, pp means past, uh, past, past participle we can take there. Now we are going to see the passive verb negative and the passive verb negative is will not have been written and will not have been written is the passive wise verb negative and we can detail uh, tell this that will not have been plus pp means shall not have been pp plus pp and we can speak it as uh, shall not have been done will not have been done like this the next point i will tell you that active wise is made by the subject means always remember the active wise when we uh, make then the subject makes that active wise and uh, pv that is passive wise is made always by the object means always the object uh, makes the uh, i will say uh, passive wise here i will tell you now the uh, topic subjects and their cases now see if the subject is i the case will be by me if the subject is we the case will be by us if the subject is you, the case will be by you. If the subject is they, the case will be by them. If the subject is he, the case will be uh, by him. If the subject is she, the subjective case will be by her. And if the subject is it, the subjective case will be by it. The next point I will tell you is that if the subjects are other than the above subjects then the examples or the changes will be like this if the subject is the boys the subjective case will be by the boys if the subject is byron the case will be by byron if the subject is sarah then the case will be by sarah if the subject is the book, 
the subjective case will be by the book so here today we have seen the best topic on spoken english on english speaking course if you do this honestly then definitely i give you the guarantee that you will talk you will converse or you will write and speak correct english so with this i will uh, stop but before stopping i will request you to make viral my channel that i can serve you with the more educational videos so with this i will stop thank you thank you very much